Hey there, welcome to the 35th Easy JavaScript tutorial part of EasyProgramming.net. Let's do something we've done a long time ago in C++ and let's create a random number generator. This is something you can put on your website and have your users input a minimum, maximum, and generate a random number in JavaScript. So in comments here, I included some, essentially some cheat comments, if you will, uh, telling you that how you should go about creating a random number generator. In the last tutorial, we learned about math.random, part of the math object, which generates a value between 0 and 1. If I do a quick math.random in the JavaScript console here, you can see that it generated 0 0.14, blah, blah, blah. To get a number that's not a decimal point, get a number between, let's say, 1 and 10, you multiply that by 10. It's not always that easy. So uh, on line 5, I included a formula that you should use for your randomization program because this is the most accurate one that I can find. Um, to get a whole number, we also learned about the math.for function in the last tutorial, which essentially rounds down, which pretty much gets rid of all the numbers after the decimal place, and that's usually what we want. So let's start programming. Uh, what you have in front of you is two text boxes, a button, and a span ID here, which I've called output. So let's start typing in. So we'll do var button. Uh, we're going to do document get element by ID. Store the button here. We'll, I call this submit. And then we're going to do an event listener. So add event listener. Uh, be sure to watch my event listener tutorial to uh, to learn what I'm doing right here. The so function. I'm going to close this before I forget. Let's do var max. Let's grab the values of uh, max. So the document dot get element by ID max dot value. Let's do var min equals to document dot get element by id min dot value and then we'll do var I'll call it answer even though in my span I call it output so we'll do document because remember you don't have to name them the same thing so get element by id output that's it so now we'll do answer dot inner html you can do inner text as well we'll do math dot floor we're applying the formula that I have written up here in parentheses, we'll do math.random, remember, uh, uppercase math, uppercase m, times, and in parentheses, we'll do max minus, minus min plus 1 to get rid of the 0 index and have the 1 indexed. Whoops. And then we'll do uh, plus min. There we go. So now if I update and run it, this program should be ready. So if I do between 1 and 10, it should give me a random number. I get an 11. I'll explain why. 81, 3, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Uh, do you have it figured out why? It's because this is treating this as a string, this min, instead of uh, an integer. So what you want to do is you want to remember we did we learned about parse int uh, when we went over the m numbers methods. So the parse int tell JavaScript that we're working with numbers. So update and run. And if I do 1 in 10 again, there you go. 7, 3, 1, 5, 1, 8, blah, blah, blah. If I do, let's say, 5 and 15, for example, you get 10, 11, 7, 13, 10, 7, 11. Again, we're not getting anything below 5 or above 15. Of course, these are included. There you go. I had a 5 earlier, but uh, you get it. Well, there you get a random number generator. You can loop this and have it generate you know, 100 numbers for you if you want, or have it generate just one number. Feel free to use this on your website. Feel free to ask me any questions if you have any. If you have any questions about the math, I'll do my best to explain it. Uh, I hope you've learned something new today, creating a random number generator. Be sure to check out my C++ tutorial on the random number generator. Uh, it's mostly the same. It's a little bit different. I have it right here. Uh, and C++ uses something called SRAN, which is to seed uh, a time. Uh, watch that tutorial to learn more. Uh, well, anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. If you want to see a specific topic covered in Easy JavaScript, please let me know. And remember to visit my website at easyprogramming.net. Have a good one.